Hello, planner people. It is confession time, and I have to confess that I have been in such planner discord for probably the last month or so, maybe even longer. Um, I had recently done my happy planner setup video and I sang its praises. I loved my happy planner, didn't want anything else, didn't want to do anything else, but it's just not working for me. I, before I got my happy planner, I hadn't really used a planner in probably a year, maybe a little longer. So I was in such disarray that I just wanted something to help me manage my work. My I work at home, so if I'm not on the ball, then nothing's on the ball. So I saw the Happy Planner and it was just like ding in my head. I can use this. This is simple. This is neat. This is clean. Um, it's already pretty. I don't have to decorate it. I can use this for work and get my work life managed. And I did that. My Happy Planner definitely helped me do that. And I'm so grateful for it. But as I continued planning my work life, I found myself wanting to incorporate other areas of my life and there's just not space enough in the happy planner. The happy planner is a calendar planner and that's pretty much it. To me, it's not a system of planning. I don't know if that makes sense, but to me, the happy planner seems it's a calendar. I can jot my things in there and it reminds me of what I have coming up and that's pretty much it. So I found myself more and more unhappy with my happy planner. <laughs> that's, and it makes me so sad to say it really does because this thing is beautiful. Look how pretty the little washi stickers and the post-it notes and more post-it notes and the folders. Look at the folders. I mean, it's so, so pretty. Decorated gorgeous. Look at these things. Amazing. But I don't have enough space. I would find myself trying to write really, really, really perfect because the boxes are small and I write big. I'm a messy writer. I can write really, really neat when I want to, but if I'm just writing something, it's messy. This is just so pretty. I wanted this to be it. I really wanted it to. And I love it that I can fold it over when it wants to fold over. That's another thing that bothers me is that the discs are not smooth like a spiral bound notebook would be. You can just flip it and lay it down. This takes work, maybe because I have so much in it. I don't know, but I, I do love that I can just flip it and write like this and it takes up a little bit of space and not too much. Um, but I, I just don't have enough space. I wanna plan more of my life. I wanna plan my blogs and I wanna plan my YouTube videos and as, as well as my, my bullet journal for wellness is, and as pretty as that is, it makes me crazy that it's in another book. I don't 
like managing two books. I don't like having this information in this book and this information is this book and when I want to write something down which book do I need and where is it and it makes me crazy. So over the past month I've been doing a lot of thinking about planners, about where which planner I used that I was most comfortable in and that I used for a while and it fit me and all of the things that I want to track and shockingly enough it was my Franklin Covey two page per day. I got away from Franklin Covey for a few different reasons none of them good honestly none of them good no good reasons I was in this binder which is the Franklin Covey Mia and I used their there goes my pen I used their two page per day format which looks like this it's got to do's down this way a schedule down this way which I don't really need my days aren't like that and then all of this over here is notes I can put anything I want there and I did looking back at my old pages it just I had so much fun. It was really fun for me to put stickers and write my little notes and I would put quotes in some places and I would just, you know, if I had a date night with my husband, I would write that and where we went and what we did and it was a great time. And then I got away from it. And I got away from it for this stupidest reasons ever. Like, I've had this Mia binder for probably <laughs> 10 years, maybe less, maybe eight years, but a long time. Anyway, a long time. And for a while I was disappointed with Franklin Covey because they didn't have any pretty binders and that was one of the reasons that I got away from them was because I wanted to buy a new binder. This binder is old and the bottom ring has a gap in it. The top ring is starting to gap but I mean it, it's old you know things like this happen. So. I decided, well I didn't decide, I started looking at other binders and when you're in the planner community, when you're watching any of these videos, 95% of these videos are Filofax and Filofax binders are gorgeous. They're so pretty and I wanted a pretty binder that's what I wanted. So I started making up reasons in my head as to why I should go Filofax and I convinced myself pretty thoroughly. I want a new binder that's pretty. Filofax has it. I don't really need two page per day even though I like two page per day even though I've used two page per day, per day for probably on and off 20 years. I don't really need all that space. It's a lot of work to decorate those pages for a week at a time. If I go Filofax, I can downgrade to a two page per week and decorate my whole week in one shot. I'll have plenty enough space, blah, 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 ad infinitum until I convinced myself that I was going to go Filofax. And I did. I bought a Filofax A5 original fuchsia and I got what I wanted. That binder is gorgeous and 
I froze. I didn't know what to do with it. It doesn't have as many pockets as my Franklin Covey did. It doesn't, it was a, a vertical two page per week format, which was horrific. I just was completely thrown off of my planner groove and I tried to stick it out. I bought new pages, new pa two page per week on Etsy and that did help a little bit, but I was just, I just had such a good thing going on with my Franklin Covey that when I switched, I didn't get that back. And I bought the Malden Purple A5. I loved that a little bit more because it has more pockets, but it's still not a Franklin Covey. And I still struggled. I just completely felt thrown off my groove. And I was. And I, I struggled with it for a bit, and then I just stopped planning, period. I still have my Malden. I still have my Fuchsia Original. And they're beautiful. They're beautiful. But I couldn't do it. I couldn't. The Filofax, the six rings, kind of, it's just not what I'm used to. And I bought a whole punch and I made my own dividers. I tried to make it work and I couldn't. So the happy planner came in because I hadn't been planning at all. And I thought to myself, if I can just get my work day managed, I'll be happy. I don't care about anything else, but, but now I miss planning and I miss my Franklin Covey and I'm going back to it. I had some old pages from the last year that I did in my Franklin Covey and I'll show you just real quick how I adapted them. Obviously they're out of date because they're from two years ago but I printed off some basic calendar pages from wendiful.com and basically what I did because each day has the date on it on both sides. I just put a little sticker here and wrote in the day and just put some other random kind of sticker over here to cover that up. My little hello or um my little pony little little whatever stickers just to cover up the day. So I am doing that right now and it's amazing. I feel so comfortable with this binder that, with the planner itself, not the binder. I shouldn't say that. Um, this setup of the planner, the two page per day, it's so comfortable for me. And yeah, that's what I'm doing. And I'm so happy now. I don't know if I'll ever have planner piece. I'm probably always going to look at pretty binders and say, oh, that's gorgeous. But the guts of my planner I think have got to be two page per day. So I went ahead and checked out Franklin Covey website because I do need a new binder and they have beautiful binders right now. They have this whole planner love series, which are on trend and gorgeous. They have mint with gold dots and gold and white and pink and they're beautiful. But I actually, ordered a classic Franklin Covey. Um, the style name is Livy and it's amazing. I do have that on order. It will be here probably next week and I'll do another video to show you that because it's astounding. And I already put in my order for next year's two page per day planner guts. Um, those are amazing. I will show those to you as well because they are coloring pages. Every single one of them is a coloring page. It's mind boggling. So I'll show you those. And um, for now, let me know, have you ever been in a planner funk like this? And what did you do to get out of it? I would love to hear what you came up with to solve your planner woes. Thank you so much to listen 
for listening to me rattle on for 15 minutes. Um, if you like it, like it and subscribe. And if you want to see any videos, let me know. Thank you. Bye.